Converting a lightweight 9100 series access point to one that supports the embedded wireless controller. So the first thing that we're going to want to do before we even attempt this is do a factory reset on our access point. If you don't know how to do that, check out my video on resetting these things. While that's being reset, head on over to cisco.com and we need to download some software. Find the access point model that you have and click on the embedded wireless controller software for that access point. Once you find it, go ahead and download the zip file. Once the zip file is downloaded, you're going to go ahead and you're going to extract the contents of that zip file. Inside that zip is going to be a bunch of different images. What makes this thing a little bit different than probably what we're used to is that it actually runs a 9800 series controller embedded into the access point. So we need to send this over as its own entity. But what we also have to send over is the actual AP image for that access point as well. So you can see in here, there's a bunch of different AP images. To figure out which AP image we need, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up this readme file. And I have a 9130, so the AP image that I need is the AP1G6A file. If I come back here, we can see the AP1G6A file. So what we now need to do is I need to send over the C9800 file, and I also need to send over the AP1G6A file. So let's go over to the CLI, and I'll show you guys how to TFTP these over. So go ahead and console into your access point, and then we're going to start with putting in the username. By default here, it's Cisco with a capital C. And then password is also Cisco with a capital C. We're going to go into enable mode. Again, same password. And once we're in enable mode here, we are going to want to set an IP address. Now, if you've if this is on a portion of your network that has DHCP, it probably already has a IP address on it. As you can see here, I've already got an IP address, 128.55. If you need to set it, you're going to want to do cap, WAP, AP, IP, and then type in the IP address followed by the subnet mask, uh, followed by your default, default gateway. I'm not going to do that since, again, I already have that listed in here. But now what we want to do is we want to change this over to a EWC access point. In order to do that, we're going to type in AP-type EWC-AP. What you're going to want to do is first you're going to put in the first TFTP address of that first file, the AP1G6A. And then after that, again, TFTP. And you're going to want to put in the actual C9800 embedded controller image. going to go ahead and it's going to download these images. I will note here too, sometimes before you before you actually get a chance to put in these TFTP commands here, you do get a lot of logging messages that go back and forth. You can do a logging console disable and it will shut all those messages off. Uh, just, a, just a tip, just a note if you guys need to do that. So get about five or 10 minutes to do its thing. And eventually it'll be done loading and you'll get back to a command prompt over here. Now you're pretty much all set. If you take a look at your wireless settings, you'll actually notice Cisco Air Provisioning is showing now. So the access point is up. It's got the embedded controller running and it's actually broadcasting out the provisioning SSID. So now you can go ahead and you can click that and you can start provisioning your controller. And that's it guys. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them in the video description or in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks.